Hello everybody, we have another video and this video will be dedicated to frameless glazing. Frameless glazing is when we have no vertical profiles, only profiles at the bottom and top. All glass panels slide and it can be sliding or folding. We are currently in the showroom. Unfortunately, we only have a folding system here. Let's explore the various options for frameless glazing using a folding system as an example, because there's a lot of various nuances. So, what I want to draw your attention to. It is immediately noticeable. And there is a solution with these small aluminum profiles. This is one glass, a sliding system, here's a guide rail, profiles, sashes in which glass is installed on top, and here's a vertical profile. It can be installed or not installed. You can do without it. You can use a silicone element, as most people do. But there is no such system on the Russian market with such a profile, and these silicone ones actually look cheap. And leaving a gap is also not very good. I like this solution because it seems complete. Everything is sealed here. The attachment of this glass. And it even adds rigidity, that is, the glass vibrates less from the wind. And this profile is so small that it's unnoticeable. And I would recommend doing frameless glazing with such thin profiles. It's a very cool solution. The glass fit into each other. This is a folding system where one sash opens while the rest fold towards it. Here we have such a door. As Suleiman explained to me, there are frameless systems where we don't have this sash profile. That is just glass. And there are such hooks at the top and bottom. We need to pull the rope to remove these hooks. Open the glass. And then we can start moving these glass panels. You see, this profile even has a brush. Can you imagine? So it's not just an aluminum profile. There is even a seal inside. And this glass fits into this hook with this seal. No wind or water will go through. I don't know. I really like this solution. It's cool. No dust, wind or water, nothing gets in, because these little thin brushes do their job. If the glass is not supported with a profile, it shakes a lot, because it is not solid. It stands alone. When we close it, they're all as one piece, and they take the load much more. Even though the profile is thin, it nevertheless adds rigidity, because we connect all these panes of glass with an aluminum profile, and they are all as one piece. This is very good. There used to be two lashes, and we used to open them with a rope. There was no handle like this. There were similar profiles here between them, but no white aluminum ones here. In other words, we have two options. The first option is to make the outer sash with the same small, thin profile between the glasses. We'll have everything panoramic. But in this case, there's a small drawback. It is inconvenient to open this sash. There will be no handle, no fittings that lock it in several points, only hooks at the top and bottom and a rope that we pull to release the hooks and open the sash. Yes, it looks better, but in terms of quality, it falls short compared to this solution. This is a complete door with all the necessary parts, including fittings, latches, and handle. The profile is strong, the door opens, and each sash folds like this. What is the maximum width possible? You can easily do it 6-7 meters in width. If it's 6 meters wide, they will split into two directions. Half to the left and half to the right. If it's 6 meters, then up to 6 sashes, up to 6 sashes go out to one side. 
After six sashes, even if there are seven, if the customer doesn't want it to open from there, then this sash simply remains inside and slides. You know, I'd even say it's not a frameless system, it's something between a classic frameless design and a sliding design. Now I'll show you the drainage system. Uh, when there is one glass, condensation forms when it's cold outside and hot inside. If so, there is such a drainage. And the water goes here, into this drainage. We make a small hole here and on the outside, look, here. And on the outside, there are small holes. When water gets inside through the rails, it exits from this hole. No water remains inside. Not all systems have condensation collection. Yes, that's right. That's cool. Usually they don't have it. Half goes inside, half outside. So water constantly accumulates inside the room. The drainage is so well designed here that it's almost invisible. You might not even notice it. Very cleverly done. What if it's a sliding system instead of a folding one with a bottom rail in profile where sashes move like this? Are there frameless sliding systems that also have these types of profiles in contact? Or sliders have only silicone? Uh, yes, there are. Not everyone uses them. Such a system is rarely used. But it exists. There are also thin profiles. They interlock with each other with a small hook. They also go one after another. But they are aluminum, not silicone. Okay, so there are three options for folding and sliding systems without anything, silicone or aluminum profile. These systems uh, differ. There are lighter economy class systems up to 2.5 meters high and stronger ones up to 3 meters. That's why we're choosing a system from various Turkish manufacturers. We've traveled all over Turkey with Suleiman. Moreover, he has been living here for 20 years. That's why we tailor the technical solution to the specific needs of the client. We explain that this system is suitable for small heights. Additionally, we explain how the height can vary using different options and profiles. Contact us for consultation and assistance. We will help you. And a few words about this folding system. In Russia, there is no such thing at all. But uh, this system can also have double glazing. Can you imagine? Here, on the left, is a folding system with a glass unit. Yes, here you can see that the joint profiles are wider. Here you have to install profiles, that is, on the glass it is clear that you can leave a gap without a profile or put silicone. The glass unit must always have a closed edge, which is why we use profiles that are approximately 35-40 millimeters wide and they are also hooked. Here is the same door and as you can see there are blinds, that is, you open the door like this and these sashes with a glass unit are folded in the same way. This solution is actually interesting because the glass keeps temperature better and blinds can be integrated within the glass unit to shield from the sun and raise up. You can order such all-inclusive solution with built-in blinds. I think it's interesting. The lower and upper profiles and rails remain the same. Only the sashes and profiles are changed. You mean one glass or double glazing, the frame is the same. Yes, only the sash is different. These are all cold systems, that is, profiles without thermal breaks. But if you implement bioclimatics, for example, with a glass unit on top or with lamellas with insulation inside, and make a sliding or folding system with a single chambered glass unit on the sides, 
This will keep the heat inside the room enough to stay there for some time. It's not a residential room where you can sleep at night. But you can spend time comfortably even in winter. You won't be cold. These are such easy solutions, not super expensive. It's not a full-fledged substantial winter garden. This is very mobile. Additionally, it can be disassembled, transferred to a different site, and reassembled. Very interesting, quickly erectable, lightweight, convenient to use structures for summer terraces, so to speak. So, I hope you found it interesting to watch about frameless glazing. My contacts are in the description. Please write to me and place orders. I repeat, I can bring you anything from Turkey right now. I will be here for a while, making contacts, finding new systems, and bringing them to the Russian market. So be sure to write to me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, support me, like this video, and leave comments. Bye everyone, and see you soon.